What's going on guys, Ben Glenn here, coming back at you with another video. Today we are back doing another Madden NFL 18 fantasy style rebuild. This time we are doing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As you can see, the top three players, Gerald McCoy, Mike Evans, and Levante David. Um, all decently young players. Gerald McCoy, I think is 28 or 29, so he is getting up there. However, Mike Evans, he's like 25, he's young. Levante David's like maybe 27. So there is some youth with this team. I think we can probably turn their season around. Currently, I believe they're two and six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this, break down this roster, and then get right into the rebuild. So this is the team. Of course, we got a franchise quarterback in Jameis Winston, and he's gonna be our guy. I'm not drafting a quarterback. Jameis is the guy. Running back situation, something different. I'm probably gonna trade Doug Martin. He is 28. He's going to start regressing. I'd like someone better. And an 88 overall running back uh, is someone that's going to have a decent amount of trade value. Same thing with Jaquiz Rogers and maybe Charles Sims. Uh, receiving core needs to improve. I need to move on from Deshaun Jackson. He's 30. No can do. Adam Humphreys is not a good quality receiver. I think someone told me, yeah, Chris Godwin has quick development. So he's going to be someone that I want starting for sure. Cameron Brait needs to go only because OJ Howard has the youth he has quick development. We can develop him into the best tight end in the NFL. Offensive line, I mean, DeMar Dodson's the one shining point. Defensively, I think we're pretty good. We just need to upgrade that secondary. Move on from some of our older players like Robert Ayers, uh, like Brent Grimes. I think I'm probably going to hold on to Gerald McCoy. <laughs> I don't know about Chris Baker, though. Probably 68 block shed. What? All right, let's go ahead and make some trades. With my first trade, I am trading Brent Grimes, Chris Conti, and Charles Sims to the Panthers for their first round selection, as well as Darrell Williams, who's going to be our new starting right tackle. I know we have DeMar Dodson. I didn't realize DeMar Dodson was 31 years old. I thought he was more in that 29 range. So I am not really good with 31 years old <laughs> in these fantasy style rebuilds. So DeMar Dodson, um, bottom line is he pretty much has to go. He has value now. I need to move on. With this trade, I'm trading DeMar Dodson, TJ Ward, and a fourth round pick for Todd Gurley from the Los Angeles Rams. Just sounded like that wheelchair kid on Malcolm in the Middle if you watch that show. Um, but yeah, Todd Gurley, TG3, aka TG the second, depending on where you know him from, I guess, uh, is our new franchise running back. Doug Barton can go, Jaquiz can go. Um, oh man, I could have done such a better coach name. What? Whoops. With this trade, I am uh, trading Doug Martin. It's funny, that's trading is the word that I struggle to say. You'll see why. Uh, a third round pick, and his name is Stevie for Kevin Byard from the Tennessee Titans. Has just had such an incredible season so far for the Titans, including a three interception game, a two interception game. But aside from his interceptions, he's just been locking teams down. It hasn't been a liability. He's been playing very, very well. I do really love Justin Evans, but I mean, I think we're going to start him at strong safety, perhaps. And uh, I don't know, man, this this team is it's pretty actually, it's pretty bad in a lot of ways. So the Browns were really into Sean Spence and Adarius Glanton, and who am I? to get in the way of what the Browns want. So I gave them Sean Spence and a Darius Glant. I shot, uh, signed Sean Spence out of free agency, by the way. And I got the Browns' number one overall projected pick. I mean, if they want him, I'm not going to stop him. Anyway, this trade, I am trading another player I got out of free agency. This is the only time I've used free agency, uh, I think, in all these fantasy rebuilds, which is somewhat odd. But uh, yeah, Perry Riley Jr., Ryan Fitzpatrick, and a fifth-round pick for the Giants' first-round pick. Trying to get a lot of picks so I can build through the draft. And uh, I think they're coming together. Maybe get a few seconds in there. Third, fourth, maybe. I don't know. Okay, and with this trade, I'm trading Deshaun Jackson, Cameron Brayton, a third for Jalen Ramsey. How about that for an upgrade to the secondary? I really didn't want to give away a third, but I also didn't think that would get accepted at all. So now I'm going to try and get some mid-rounds somehow because I, I do value those quite a bit. All right, with this trade, I'm trading Chris Baker and a second next year for a first-round pick. From the Bears, I know I said mid-rounds, but I'm kind of going insane. And uh, I'm trading for first-rounders. Clinton McDonald and Evan Smith is going to get me a third-rounder from the Bengals. Not too shabby. All right, so Silver Saliga, 
William Golston and Daryl Tapp is going to give me a three and a four from the Raiders. And I think I'm pretty much set on trading. I'm just going to check through the team, see if I have all the older players and uh, non-factors out of there. Jaquiz Rogers is still there. Well, maybe he hangs around. <laughs> what is that laugh? Okay, I, I'm not done quite yet. All right, so Joe Hawley, Ryan Russell, and a first rounder next year is going to get me a one and a two from the cards. So we have a ton of picks, not so many uh, next year. However, I feel like I can trade. Like I have, I don't have a first, a second, or a third next year, but I think I can use the picks that I have this year in order to trade for them. We have a bunch of picks this year. It's what I wanted. Um, and last but not least, get rid of Jaquiz Rogers for something somewhere, and we're going to be good to go. All right, so Jaquiz Rogers, a sixth and a seventh next year, is going to give me a first-round pick from the Dolphins next year. So we do have a first next year, and I think I'm about ready to simulate. I know we've done a lot of tearing apart this team and not necessarily rebuilding. I thought I traded Luke Stocker. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I need to trade Luke Stocker. <laughs> he has value now. He's not going to next year. I need to trade Luke Stocker, but other than that, this is the team. Um, Justin Evans is going to start at strong safety. Oh, Robert Ayers, too. Okay, I'm not done. I keep saying I'm done. I'm not. All right, so I went ahead and I signed CO Moore out of free agency, traded Robert Ayers in a fourth next year for a one and a three from the Colts. This is by far the cheesiest fantasy rebuild I've ever done, which is kind of what these are supposed to be, which, you know, get the team in winning position by any means necessary. We have so many picks. We have, I think, a bunch of really good players. I'm finally done making moves. We have just an unbelievable amount of picks. I know the team looks pretty shitty in a lot of areas. That was kind of my intent, but uh, I think I'm ready to go here. And uh, yeah, we need a stellar draft. We have the picks in order to do so. We have so many picks. It's it's honestly disgusting. This is most picks by far I've ever had uh, in, any, in any rebuild this year, any fantasy rebuild. It's insane. All right, so at the midseason mark, we are two and six. Not doing too great, obviously which I'm fine with. Um, Chris Humphreys is, at the, oh Jesus Christ, Kardashians. No, Adam Humphrey, Humphreys is ready to negotiate. Um, so is Luke Stocker. I'm not going to bring Luke Stocker back. Adam Humphreys, I have actual vested interest in. He looks way better than the 78 overall. It's, I think it's release. Why is he so bad? His stats are all good. His awareness, where's awareness? What is his awareness? Can I not see it on here? Am I blind? 86. Okay, that's it's good too. I don't know why he's such a low overall. He's a very good player. We're going to try to sign him to more years. So he's back, and that's the only player I'm going to resign. Nick Folk, not even a chance. <laughs> and the other guys, no thanks. So the season is over. We clearly missed the playoffs. As you can see, our practice pl uh, squad players have been signed. We went 4 and 12. Go Bucks. Let's check out the stats, see how we did that. Jameis Winston, 3,800 yards, 24 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Not ideal. Rushing Ty Gurley, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. He needs to get more carries, I think, is the moral of that story. Receiving Adam Humphreys led our team in receptions. 680 yards, 2 touchdowns. Mike Evans had over 1,000 yards, only 3 touchdowns. But look at Chris Godwin. 764 yards and 10 touchdowns. What are you doing? I'm in. Sacks allowed Donovan Smith just let 33 sacks by. I don't know why. Quan Alexander had a ton of tackles, 172. Tackles for loss would be 18 from Gerald McCoy. Quarterback sacks, 8 from Devontae Lambert. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I guess, why is Levante David rushing the passer so often? Six and a half sacks. Six from Will Clark, five from Gerald McCoy. These are weird numbers, I gotta say. Interceptions, we have three from Jalen Ramsey, two from Quan. What about force fumbles? I see two, four from Noah Spence, actually. Fumble recoveries, two from Noah Spence, two from Levante David. Touchdowns, I see at least one. Vernon Hargraves, a third. I'm in. Yearly awards. If we can get some rookies of the year, I think we're going to be good. Or some Pro Bowl appearances. We just need more XP for some of our players. Russell Wilson wins MVP, though. I doubt we're going to see any bucks anywhere in here. NFC Offense Player of the Year, again, no bucks. Didn't think so. Defense Player of the Year. This is where I think we can see a buck. And I don't see Quan Alexander. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Dalvin Cook. Chris Godwin comes in at number three. OJ Howard at number seven. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Ruben Foster. I saw it red. I got kind of excited. Justin Evans finishes in ninth, though. The typical guys in free agency, I'm just not looking to sign a running back. So, not really looking to sign anybody is, is what that's going to equate to. I saw Justin Pugh. I might make an offer to Justin Pugh, actually. Nah, nah, I'm not going to. Nope. 
All right, so we should have some really, really high picks. We don't have the number one overall pick, but we also have the second, the third, the fourth, the sixth, the ninth, the 10th, the 14th, the... Mm, anything up here? No, actually, we got a bunch of really, really valuable picks. Let's go ahead and skip the first overall pick as a quarterback. Goes number one overall. Good thing we don't need one of those. All right, so with this pick, I'm gonna take Craig's Barksdale, I'm thinking. We don't, we don't really need him, but he just looks so good. I don't feel like I can pass him up and we can trade a Kendall back with. So Craig's Barksdale out of Clemson. Great top three skills, amazing combine. Here he is, slow development. 80 overall, says we reached. I don't think we reached. I mean, he's got amazing speed, amazing tackle, amazing block shot, hit power, pursuit. It's just like play rec and awareness aren't particularly high a well or along with zone i thought like that slow development is really actually killer he's a really good player though i think we're just going to trade down there's not it's not a tremendously talented draft class at this point so let's trade down with the they're not offering me much there let's trade down with the 49ers actually no i'm thinking let's do it with the raiders for their first this year their second this year and the first next year. And then if I can come back and trade down with the 49ers next for that same offer, we're gonna be in business. So the 49ers offer is gone, but I think a better one is right here with the Bears. We trade down, we don't get a first this year, but we get a first next year and a second next year, along with the second this year. So we're gonna trade down with the, the Chicago Bears and then move along to pick number six. And with my sixth pick, I'm gonna trade down with the Rams for a first rounder next year, a second rounder next year, and a fourth this year. I don't need this six overall pick, so I feel like might as well get some good value next year, where hopefully it's a really good draft. With this pick, though, I'm taking Ray Gaddis, a safety out of Alabama, and I know what you're thinking, which you're probably not, but I know what you might be thinking, is the last time the Bucks took a safety in the first round, it was Mark Barron, who really just did not work out of Alabama, is what I meant to say. Um, so, is Ray Gaddis the next Mark Barron? Hopefully not for our purposes. Hopefully he's like a really good safety. I like his top three skills and his combine. Here we go. Ray Gaddis, 80 overall. Normal development, 93 speed, 72 zone, 90 hit power. I think he's a pretty good player to, to me, you know. Wish that development was a bit better, not gonna lie. With this pick though, I'm gonna take a Lorenzo Kell out of Notre Dame, 6'2". Really good top three skills. Not a fantastic combine. I don't really care though. He's going to be ranked number eight in the draft. We took him at 10, 81 overall, 89 speed. Wish that was 90 speed really, really badly. But 87 man, 80 zone, 81 press. Not the worst player. He's going to come in and start immediately. With this pick though, I'm going to take Quinn Diem, a left tackle out of Pitt. Amazing top three skills. Amazing combine. Here we go. He's ranked number 11. We took him at 14. He's got 80 overall normal development but 89 strength 83 run block 85 pass block 87 impact block 77 speed the insane player he is our franchise cornerstone left tackle and with this pick i'm going to take another offensive lineman in connor not out of wisconsin amazing top three skills amazing combine again here we go and he's going to be ranked 23 in the draft we take him at 15 quick development though 79 overall and he's just another really sick player who I'm not sure how he's not ranked higher. 82 run block, 82 pass block, 88 impact blocking. Amazing player. We're just getting so many studs so far. With this pick, I'm trading down next year. I'll take a first rounder from the Falcons, and then uh, I'm gonna trade actually my next pick down for another first rounder next year, and then the same thing with the next pick. It doesn't really matter who I take him from, so we're just gonna keep going. Another second round pick, dude. I don't want anyone in the second round. I'm just... Oh, no first round options next year? I'll take a two and a three. Oh, a two's this year. Ugh. A three next year, though. Oh, my goodness. A baller. I'm in. When I watched him, didn't know he was a baller. He said, Roger Goodell, you can kiss my pixie dick. Russell Baylark out of Wisconsin. I don't need a middle linebacker, really. We're taking him anyway. Excellent pick. That's what I'm talking about. He's a baller. A baller, for those who do not know, is a player who skips the combine. 14th in the draft. We take him at 56. 87 speed. 91 tackle. 83 block shed. 76 of power. 86 pursuit. How do we make him work on the team? I don't know that we do, actually. We'll figure it out. Dude, okay, way too many picks in this draft. I'm bored already. Something about Darius Massey just said he's going to be a really good player. 
decent combine, good top three skills. Rank number 29, we took him at 68, 88 speed, 83 zone, 82 hit power. Really, really well-rounded. 76 overall, only 21 years old. Interesting. With this pick, I'm going to reach for a player. This is not a reach. This player is insane. He's a, he's a top 32 player in the draft, undoubtedly. Amazing top three skills for a defensive tackle. Phenomenal combine. Here he is. Yeah, I mean, number 25, we took him at 99. He was supposed to go in the fifth. Superstar development, 87 strength, 81 block shed, 84 power move, 76 speed. Superstar development, did I mention that? Adrian Fenderson out of Michigan State. What an insane player. He was supposed to go in the fifth round. Couldn't take any chances with that. It's our new starting defensive tackle, or one of them at least. Another sick offensive lineman. Here he is. Oh, okay. Okay, superstar development. Okay, insane attribute. 86 strength, 84 run block, 82 pass block, 89 impact blocking. Superstar development. His awareness is so low, which I love because it's so easy to upgrade. His overall will skyrocket. I don't even know what to do at this point. My offensive line is is kind of insane, and I might just keep drafting a line. I'm actually just going to let the CPU take care of it from here. I have the players on my draft board. They should look to draft those players first, as I think one just went. So we're golden. No, can I? I meant to skip to the end of the draft. If it takes another O lineman. Oh, wait, that's the middle linebacker that's on my board. Okay. So the CPU drafts off who's on your draft board, which is cool. But let's go ahead and see. I just couldn't be arsed to make the picks myself. How about that accent? That was pretty good. He wasn't on my board. He's not awful, but he's also not good. Dayon Potter, I believe, was on my board. He's okay, 70 overall. Gilbert Francois, another talented offensive lineman. But check out this draft. 76 overall, 79, 76, 78, 79, 80, 81, 80, 80. Jesus. Very, very good class. Now to find out where everyone plays. I also have XP, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. 31K for OJ Howard. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, he completed some type of goal, I guess, defensively. I mean, we drafted Gaddis. Just, uh, Justin Evans doesn't have that much. Kevin Byer doesn't have that much. Um, really, no one has that much. So I guess it's good that we have players that kind of went off in the draft. I don't know. What, what am I saying? All right. So this is the team. A bunch of rookies starting, including Quinn Diem. We had Dan Heaney, who sounds a lot like Dan Feeney, who was drafted this past year by the Chargers. We have Connor Knott, I believe. Yeah, Connor Knott. Quick development. Heaney's got superstar. Marpet's got quick. Daryl Williams has normal. Okay, that's fine. DM has normal as well. Receivers coming together. Chris Godwin's an 80 overall. Todd Gurley's up to a 93, 94. But his confidence is very low, which is okay. And then on the defensive side of the ball, uh, Kevin Byard stays the same. We are starting Ray Gaddis. We're starting Kendall Beckwith again. Everything pretty much stays the same, except Jalen Ramsey's up to a 93. We're bringing in Lorenzo. Lorenzo Kell out of Notre Dame. We got Noah Spence. Fenderson is my pick for Defensive Rookie of the Year. He's insane. Hopefully he tears it up. And then at right end, we kind of have a need. I don't know. Maybe maybe Barksdale can play right end. He has no pass rush moves at all. Baylor. No. <laughs> maybe, maybe I find someone. Maybe I trade for someone right now who can rush the passer a bit. All right. It was super difficult to make a trade. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not, not going to do it. We're going to stick with the team that we have. I need, I would like someone better to play right end. So I might as well just get the XP for Barksdale because he's a very good player. He's just... Slow development is really, 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 really bad. I can't stress that enough how bad it is. We're going to plug him in at right end. He is a 79 overall, but he's not really because he has no pass rush moves. We're going to rock and roll with it. It is what it is. Ooh, I, have, I forgot about Massey. What do I do with these players that I draft and I don't use? <laughs> at the midseason mark, we are 5-3, and three, doing far better than we were at this time last season. Currently at the top of the NFC South, we have some Coach XP. Mike Evans is a free agent, though. I'm not a huge fan of that. So is Todd Gurley. So is Ali Marpet, Daryl Williams, Quan Alexander, Jameis Winston. All of these guys are tremendously important to bring back, especially famous Jameis. All right, so we are able to re-sign everyone except for Ali Marpet who is not really interested right now. He likes the bonus and the duration, just not the salary, so we have to work on that. But I will see you guys for the playoffs, because I think we're going to make them. Oh my goodness, we missed the playoffs. Unreal. Finished 7, 8, and 1. What? That's unreal. Jameis Winston, 
4,417 yards, 31 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. I feel like he did better. Rushing Todd Gurley, almost 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns, average 4.8 per carry. I need to get him more carries. Mike Evans, almost 1,200 yards, 5 touchdowns. So many guys had like 4 to 5 touchdowns. Adam Humphreys, Chris Godwin, OJ Howard, Todd Gurley had 6 receiving touchdowns. 608 receiving yards. What is going on, man? Blocking. Quinn DM let up 21 sacks. That's broken. Quan had 146 tackles. Quan Alexander tackles for loss of 16 from Gerald McCoy. Quarterback sacks 11 and a half from Gerald McCoy led the team. Barksdale had six and a half. Noah Spence had six and a half. Fenderson had five. Interceptions. We have six from Jalen Ramsey, five from Quan Alexander. It's pretty ridiculous. Force fumbles, four from Quan Alexander. He also had three recoveries led the team. Uh, there's a safety in here. I usually don't see those. One from Gerald McCoy. What about defensive touchdowns? One from rookie safety out of Alabama, Ray Gaddis. Aaron Rodgers wins MVP of the 10 and 6 uh, Green Bay Packers. Any bucks in there? No. NFC Office Player of the Year is also Aaron Rodgers. Jameis in there at number 7. Defense Player of the Year, Bobby Wagner. Quan Alexander in there at number 4. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Brian Butler. We have Parker Hamilton, number 7. Don't know who that is. This is what I want, though. I want a Defensive Rookie of the Year. Show it to me. David Fields, no. Craig's Barksdale. I see Craig's. Craig. Parksdale at number two, Lorenzo Kell at number three, Ray Gaddis at number four, Adrian Fenderson at number six. Just couldn't win. Hopefully one of them made the Pro Bowl though. Don't really have an unreasonable amount of XP for anybody except for Quan Alexander again. So it looks like no real Pro Bowls out here. We didn't make the playoffs. So, I mean, no excuses really. Just go to the next season, you know, recoup, get an actual defensive end to play defensive end. And then uh, make the playoffs, win the Super Bowl year three. I'm in. All right, we got Ali Marpet back. I didn't even realize we had Fat Randy. I'm out on that. I need to actually get a kicker. I might even trade for one. That's something I usually don't do in these rebuilds, but Justin Tucker should be a trade for every single time. This is the type of player I'm interested in. I wanted Yannick Ngakwe. Dante Fowler Jr. might be the move. I know. I don't know. He looks. He looks pretty insane. All right, we got Dante Fowler Jr. He is going to start at defensive end. In Noah Spence realistically can't be my starting defensive end at le on the left side. I need somebody better. I might just draft somebody. All right, we're in the draft. I forfeited my top picks to trade for players. I have a ninth and a 10th still, as well as a 16th and a 17th. That's interesting. And a 25th and a 26th. That's very interesting the way this played out. It's just, it's too many picks. It's too many. I need to trade them for players. However, I wouldn't mind drafting a ton of players just for fun. Jason Vincent's going to be the first one. Number 25, he's insane, by the way, if you didn't realize. 87 strength, 84 tackle, 84 black shot, 89 power move coming out. Are you serious? All right, I need a superstar wide receiver next to Mike Evans. Chris Godwin maybe in the slot. Who we getting? Let's go. Trade accepted, two first round picks and Ray Baylark. Ray, Russ? Doesn't matter. For Keenan Allen, that's exactly the type of superstar wide receiver we need next to Mike Evans. And uh, yeah, we got a red zone threat in Mike Evans. We got a possession receiver in Keenan Allen. We have a jokester in fucking Chris Godwin. I mean, we're, we're good. I don't even need you anymore. I might draft you anyway. I just feel like taking a lot of draft picks. I have one guy who's insane and he's going to play. Like, I'm telling, he's insane. But I'll take Urban Dawson just for the shits and gigs. Slow development. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I didn't even want you anyway. Did I really just come out here in this rebuild and take the Jags two top corners? Yeah. Two first round picks, Vernon Hargraves for AJ Boye. Get at me. I, I don't want my picks. I have so many. I don't, I don't want them at all. First round pick gets me Justin Tucker. That's where I am. I'm trading first round picks for kickers. Marquette King, two seconds. That's not even what two is. <laughs> I'll, I'll just do one of them. I decided I want first rounders next year. Lord knows why. Actually, I do know why. It's for uh, Khalil Mack. If I can, if I can make that happen, maybe. All right, there we go. Trading with the Seahawks. I think we gave them like a 1999 Toyota Tercel for that one. And uh, if I could trade this one for a first, that would be ideal. I can't. What the frick, did? I got a pick in this draft that actually will make you guys jacquiz in your pants. But until then, I don't know what to do at all. Oh, you know what I need? You know what I need? Cornerbacks. Why, you ask? To 
back corners. Actually, no, no, no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this pick. I'll, I'll work something else out. Here we go. Guy number one. Very, very good. Daron Foster out of Pitt. He's insane. Here he is. As I said, insane. Ranked number eight in the class. We take him at 48. 86 speed, 84 finesse, 82 power, 86 block shed, 84 hit power. He's insane. He's normal development. He's not the Jaquiz in your pants pick of the draft. That sounds like a sponsor. For your Tostitos moment. You know, like, yeah. Now for your Jaquiz in your pants moment of the... Whatever. Fuck it. I'm out. All right, so Trevor Williams. I think he was, used to be with the Chargers. He's an 88 overall on the Bills. Well, not anymore. He's on the Bucks now. 88 overall. We're trading a 3, a 5, and a 1 next year in order to get him. I feel like it's a pretty good trade for a really, really good nickel cornerback. You know what they say. That's my nickel. All right, I wanted to wait. This is... a an early seventh round projected player. He looks insane. One of the craziest combines I've ever seen. Incredible top three skills. Martin Biaka Batuka. Yes. Yes. Seventh round, 78 overall. Quick development, 86 speed with 87 finesse move. What a guy. All right, that's pretty much it. That's who I wanted to show you. He's pretty good, though. So it's an interesting situation. I don't really know who to start where, because we have Jason Vincent. Normal development. Very, very insane. We also took Irvin Dawson, who can go fuck himself. Forgot about him. And we have Daron Foster, who's really, really good as well. And then we have, of course, Martin Biaka Batuka, and then the 75 fullback. It doesn't matter. Like, we took four pass rushers. Two of them can play. Three of them are good. What do we do here? Ah, one of them can play. We have Dante Fowler Jr. That's that's right. Okay. All right, so I have fully upgraded everyone on the team. Receiving core looks pretty good. Not going to lie. Offensive line is really coming together. The backfield's great. Jameis Winston's just got to keep progressing. Defensively, though, it's a really interesting situation because our safeties are somewhat weak. I really like Kevin Byard. Ray Gaddis maybe needs another season. I think the move is to trade Kendall Beckwith. I moved Jason Vincent to defensive tackle. Where's an 82 overall? Go ahead and rearrange this. It's really interesting. I don't know why Fenderson would be backing up him. That makes no sense to me. 83 and Fenderson's really a an 84. Interesting. I like. I'm not sure what to do because we have Noah Spence. I'm not trading Dante Fowler Jr. I just signed him. I think I'm going to trade Noah Spence, Craig Barksdale, and Kendall Beckwith for a really, really sick outside linebacker. I th yeah, I think we're going to do that. And then move like either uh, Dawson. Not Dawson. Ooh, not Dawson at all. Did he get slow development? I feel like he didn't always have that. I don't know. Um, either Foster or... Biaka Batuka to right end. They both have quick development. It's really a matter of who do I prefer at the position. They're both really good, but in different ways. All right, what I decided to do instead was to trade Kendall Beckwith, Jason Vincent, and Craig Barksdale for Jamal Adams from the New York Jets. He's progressed all the way up to a 95 overall. And now what I can do is trade Ray Gaddis, you know, kind of halting his progression for a good outside linebacker. All right, so what I decided to do instead was trade Ray Gaddis, Trevor Williams, and a second-round pick for Marshawn Lattimore of the New Orleans Saints, currently the best cornerback in the NFL in real life. That's just how he's playing. He's allowing a passer rating lower than what it would be if the quarterback would throw into the ground every time. I know that's insane. Interceptions, picks. Marshawn Lattimore is playing like a 94 point something in pro football focus. Our cornerback group is so, so good. Probably the best cornerbacks I've ever had. We have an insane secondary, and now it's all about finding that outside linebacker to play. I don't want it to be a 3-4 guy. I need a 4-3 outside linebacker. I'd be okay with trading for a, um, a middle linebacker and then moving him over. I could do that. That's totally an option. With this trade, I'm trading two first-round picks and Noah Spence for Willis Maxwell of the New England Patriots. I guess a drafted player, and for the Patriots, they run a hybrid kind of scheme, so I hope that he's going to fit our scheme distantly. Or distantly decently and he's kind of insane i didn't check his stats i probably should have but 87 speed 70 tackle 87 block shed 
95 play rec is a weird one with 78 finesse move he's got superstar development 78 zone yeah this is a hybrid monster all right so this is the team for season number three it's a really sick team offensive line is great receiving core is phenomenal other than i guess chris godwin who hasn't really progressed all that well i mean he went up to a 75 to up to an 80 and then 80 to 81 it's kind of off the rest of the team though is doing amazingly the defense is insane linebacking core is fantastic secondary is phenomenal and then defensive line i think is also um gonna be really really good not yet but they will be got some of coach xp to spend but other than that i will see you guys at the mid-season mark also because people are going to say i decided to stop at the regular season martin biakapatuka is now an 81 because i moved him to right end from right outside linebacker his overall went up there might be someone who was going to say something but good news you don't have to because it's very obvious what i did for most people all right, so we are 5-3 and three at the midseason mark, kind of where we were last time, and we missed the playoffs. Remember, we just crushed the Seahawks. Jalen Ramsey is a free agent. I imagine there are going to be some other really talented ones as well. And uh, just Kevin Byard, actually. All right. And I re-signed both of them, so we are, we are good to go. All right, so the simulation is coming to a close, and we made the playoffs. There we go. 13-3 and three we finished. And just to clarify, for those who, oh man, Bengal Force wins. Never have, never will. The one that didn't say none says home. It was a bye week. All right, now that we have that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's go ahead and see how we did what we did. Because this is such an improvement to last year. Jameis Winston, absolutely slinging the football. Zing it. 4,500 yards, 44 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. Very, very good season. Rushing, Todd Gurley did Todd Gurley things, only continued to improve. 1,487 yards, 11 TDs, average 5.1 on the ground. I need a different running back number two because he's just leeching carries. Keenan Allen, 1,200 yards and 85 catches, 10 touchdowns. Mike Evans had nine touchdowns. Chris Godwin had nine touchdowns. OJ Howard had nine touchdowns. Somebody stop me. Even Anthony Auclair had four touchdowns. I need the backup tight end. I can, I can figure out how to do it. I can blocking show me those sacks what whoops defensively quan alexander had 126 tackles two tackles for loss however 11 from gerald mccoy led the team quarterback sacks we have eight and a half from gerald mccoy eight and a half from mark martin biaka batuka out of oregon state go beavers that's what I, that's what i'm talking about sacks and beavers dude Dante fowler jr seven Sacks for him, four and a half for Adrian Fenderson. Interceptions, we have seven from Jalen Ramsey, five from Marshawn Lattimore, three from Jamal Adams, two from Quan Alexander, two from Millis, whatever it's fucking. Four fumbles, we have one from a number of players, fumble recoveries, same deal. Defensive touchdowns, I see at least one. Willis Maxwell, absolutely showing out in his Tampa Bay Bucks debut as Russell Wilson wins MVP. Jameis Winston somehow at number six. NFC Offense Player of the Year, Russell Wilson. Jameis at number four. No Todd Gurley. Defensive player of the year, Quan at number four. Willis Maxwell at number nine. There we go. Offensive rookie of the year, Jawan Dupree. Look at all these Cardinals. A lot of them. Defensive rookie of the year, Dalton McCoo. As Martin Biakabatuka finishes at number six. Hopefully we have a lot of XP. Hopefully somebody made the Pro Bowl. I imagine we had a few. Show me some XP. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Connor not that's a Pro Bowl. Yeah, it is. Pro Bowl for Heaney, Pro Bowl for DM. Uh, Winston, do you make the Pro Bowl? A little fa famous Jameis? He did, and QB of the year. I'll take it. But apparently that's not an MVP. I don't know. Defensively, 55K for Jalen Ramsey. What is that? DB of the year? It is, and a Pro Bowl. Overall, nothing too crazy on the defensive line. All right, so this is the fully upgraded team. Offensive line is insane now. Everyone except for Quinn DM and Connor Knott are playing at a 90 overall or above. OJ Howard's up to a 94. The receiving core is insane. Chris Godwin's up to an 85. Tiger Lee, 99. Winston, 91. Defensively, though, that's where things really step up. Bianca Batuka, 85. Gerald McCoy, 93. Fenderson it was disappointing. I thought he was going to be way better. His superstar development and playing next to Gerald McCoy really didn't help him out all that much. Dante Fowler Jr., 85. Look at the cornerback. So, Jalen Ramsey, 99. Marshawn Lattimore, 94. Boye, 91. We got Kel, 85. Jamal Adams, 96. Kevin Byard's even getting better. Look at Willis Maxwell. 
90 overall. Guan Alexander, 92. Levante David, 94. It's a sick team. Who even wants to go up against this team in the divisional? Nobody. Did I even trade for Marquette King? Answer. Yes. And Justin. T we have Brian Anger? That makes me angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. Marquette, of course, he's going to start. What do, you, what do you mean? All right. Lions in the divisional. No. Go away. Fuck, they beat us. <laughs> what? Unreal. Season four is our year. I'm in. Ooh, spicy free agents. Tyreek the Freak. Maybe I'm interested. All right, so Tyreek Hill rejected a chance to win a Super Bowl. I offered him as much as I could. Couldn't get him. We're not stuck, but we have what team that we have now. I'm going to the draft. I'm not using my picks. Whatever I have, not using it. I don't care. I didn't scout. I'm trading the picks for players or the CPU is going to draft whomever. Super Bowl is on my mind. Where do we even pick? I don't. We just might not even have any, to be honest. Boom. <laughs> Dante Fowler, a three and a one next year, gets me the sack attack from the silver and black. Khalil Mack is going from one pirate team to the other. Uh, people complain you get Khalil Mack every rebuild. I love Khalil Mack, and it's like every other rebuild, so you can straight up suck my ass. It's 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 Khalil Mack. He's the best defensive player in the NFL, arguably. You got Aaron Donald, who's also like unreal, and JJ Watt. But to me, and there is tremendous amounts of bias because I love Khalil Mack, but I think he is the best. I think the most value because he's an edge, and Von Miller also plays defense, I guess. He's up there, whatever. All right, this is the team for the fourth and final season. I think it's enough to win, to win the big one. Question is, can we actually pull through and do it? Jameis Winston needs to take even another step. I need an MVP caliber season, and I think that will, will guarantee us a Super Bowl if Jameis Winston wins the MVP. So that's what needs to happen. I will see you not in 10 years. That would be a mistake. That's maybe for another time. What? Whoops. See you at the, at the playoffs. I'm not even going to do midseason. I don't care. All right, week 17. If we miss the playoffs, I'm actually going to freak out. Here we go, though. We make the playoffs. One player regret, regret, to regret, idiot. Antoine Dupree. You sucked anyway. How do you regress from shit? All right, we went 13-1-2. Interesting season. I saw Deshaun Watson won MVP. <laughs> James, James Winston... 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. So he moved back. Ty Gurley, great season, 1,500 yards, 13 TDs. I still didn't even get a backup running back. Keenan Allen, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Mike Evans almost had 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. OJ Howard, kind of the same deal with 10 touchdowns. And then Chris Godwin, over 1,000 yards and 9 touchdowns. Blocking. Sacks. Not as many. Analysis. Okay. Tackles for loss, 155 from Quan Alexander. Tackles for loss, or excuse me, that was tackles. Tackles for loss, though, was 19 from Khalil Mack. QB sacks, 14 and a half from Khalil Mack. Nine and a half from Martin Biaka Batuka. Fun word to say, fun name. Eight picks from Jamal Adams. Chill defensive back of the year, maybe. Five from Jalen Ramsey. Four from Marshawn Lattimore. Four from Quan Alexander. We just picked the ball all over the place. Four fumbles, not that many. Which, I mean, how can you when you're not even allowing catches? Defensive touchdowns, three. Jamal Adams, Jalen Ramsey, Juan Alexander. I love it. Yearly awards. Deshaun Watson, MVP, whatever. Jameis Winston at number five. Uh, NFC Office Player of the Year. Devontae Freeman over Jameis Winston. Are you smoking crack? Ty Gurley, number nine. Defense Player of the Year. Quan Alexander, followed up by Khalil Mack. Love it. What about rookies? Did I? No, we don't even draft anyone. We don't, it doesn't matter. All right, a ton of XP. That's the reality. Ooh, ooh, am I rapping right now? No, I'm not. Fuck that. Dan Heaney, two Pro Bowls. I love it. Defensively, show me some XP. Finally, Kevin Byard has XP, man. Finally, what do you do? Pro Bowl? Finally. And quick development. Good thing we're not done here, right? No, we are, idiot. Jamal Adams, that's definitely defensive back of the year. I don't, I'm going insane right now. Yeah, Pro Bowl, NFL interceptions leader, DB of the year. I love it. Jalen Ramsey, insane season. That's got to be another Pro Bowl something or other. Two Pro Bowls, Marshawn Lattimore. I mean, this is an insane team. I'm going to upgrade them, and we're going to win games. 
Shout out to us. What is that? Whoops. This is the team. It's insane. I feel like this is legitimately one of the best teams that I've ever built. I went about it in somewhat of a cheesy way. I understand this. Linebacking core is sick. The defensive backfield, like, I might actually throw up in your mouth. <sighs> Who's in the divisional? Who? 11 and 5 Eagles. How about no? See you in the conference championship. All right. That's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We lose again because uh, it's the Bucks. It's kind of what happens, right? Bye. Take it, take it easy. Okay. This shit don't run well!